Donetsk this morning, now a much calmer city than 24 hours ago. The heavy thud of artillery fire no longer echoing through these streets. This is what it had been like when just two days ago we witnessed the aftermath of heavy shelling on a residential area of the city. Five people reportedly killed. Today we drove out to the western side of the city. Here much evidence of the battles of recent weeks. Just a few hundred metres down this road is Donetsk airport and this has been the scene of the most fierce fighting between Ukrainian troops and rebels in this city. And since we've been here we have heard a couple of explosions and some gunshots. But it seems that overall the ceasefire is holding here. I haven't heard anything. People in the bus I took today also said they haven't heard anything. They stopped firing here around 5 p.m. yesterday. Both sides are already accusing each other of violating the ceasefire. Today, a spokesman for the Ukrainian military, Andrei Lysenko, said troops have come under fire 28 times since yesterday evening. While rebel leaders believe they're the ones under attack, they openly say their goal remains the creation of an independent state here. Of course, I will be glad if missiles stop exploding here, but I will be more satisfied when our rebel army reaches the border of Romania. Then there will be an independent state called New Russia. But overall, across this region, it does seem the ceasefire is holding, at least for now, although it is still a very fragile peace. Richard Galpin, BBC News, in Donetsk.